Congratulations on the win. How do you feel after everything you've gone through? Uh, that's very ominous, but very good. I feel very good right now. Do you feel like um, when you're coming off, you know, the the last few losses, and you you come in and you win um, such a, a great performance against a tough opponent, does that make it feel better, or do you feel kind of vindicated? Yeah, uh, coming off those two losses, I needed a win, and I got a good win. So yeah, I feel good and. Um, the last two fights were so razor thin. I, I knew I had to go in and kind of, kind of leave it out there a little more and not rely. Like, no, I'm not. No one's ever leaving it to the judges on purpose. But I knew I had to be a little more reckless and look for the stoppage because apparently I'm not going to get a win if it goes to those guys. So, it, in uh, media day, you se you've seemed a little. I don't want to say angry, but you know, you had like a little chip on your shoulder. Do you feel like that chip's still there? Oh, you guys made that up. I wasn't angry. I. I had, I had a lot of pressure. I had to save myself. Three losses in a row can be can be it. And if it's not, then the next fight is absolutely do or die. So I treated this one as if it was do or die. It, I was, I I don't know if I had a chip on my shoulder. I had nothing against my opponent. Uh, I don't, pretty much ever. But I needed a win, and it was dire. And after the fight, um, DC was talking about a potential fence grab. Maybe there wasn't a fence grab. Did, have you heard anything about that? I heard his corner yelling, but I don't remember doing it. I don't think there was. It, it didn't look like there was on the broadcast. It, it was a weird angle. Um, do you kind of feel like they're, they're always looking for something? You know, it can't just be, hey, here's this knockout, this great knockout. They're looking for something. Their job is to be in the best interest of their fighter. If they believe that I grabbed the fence, they have every right to be angry. I don't believe I grabbed the fence. I couldn't see on the replay that I grabbed the fence. I'm confident that I didn't grab the fence. But if they believe that that's what happened, they have the right to be upset because he's their guy. No, that's, they, they, it's up to the coaches to be on their guy's side. What about the broadcast? What about the mag? Uh, about the broadcast bringing it up and maybe creating that, that narrative that maybe isn't there. My win bonus is going to be in my account. It doesn't change anything. I won that fight. Thank you. For what it's worth, I think the reason why it even came up is because you with, went to the cage with the hand open, then closed it right before you contacted. So you didn't grab the cage. It just looked like you were almost going to. So the replay exonerates you. If Good you thing almost doesn't count, right? Yeah. <laughs> You, were you surprised at uh, his sort of lack of output in the first round? He seemed to be maybe a bit befuddled by your movement. He seemed to throw teeps, but no real jabs or anything. Were you surprised by that? No. So he doesn't normally jab. He usually looks for that lead left. But he, although he has the reach on me, I had the firepower advantage, and he knew that. And I started landing the low kicks early. And despite what maybe he thought going in, I'm the faster guy. And even though I'm bigger, I'm also faster. And he didn't have that advantage, and, and he couldn't find anything to get off on. I'm not sure how much this goes through your, th your head as a conscious thought in there, but after the first round, when he hasn't done much output, do you think, well, thanks very much, that, that's one down, we've got two more to go, I've basically just banked one and you know that's safe? I know you wanted Well, I mean, I banked one, but he landed a front kick, so the judges might have given him it, man, it's hard to say, so I got to, uh, got to really turn it up, these Vegas judges, dude, who freaking knows? There's been a few weird ones tonight, actually. Has there? Haven't been watching, but I believe you. Look at this, you guys didn't give me a can, you didn't want me to open it with my teeth? I think that's the Tana Boza rule. They just monsters uh, ruining my trademark move now. <laughs> Thanks very much. Just one thing for me. I know that uh, the commentary said that he can't, he looked like the last time he went up to try to go up to a division he was heavier. This one he stayed a little bit leaner. Did he feel like a light heavyweight out there, or did he feel like a heavyweight? So last time he meant, he meant to go up to heavyweight. This time he was supposed to be fighting at light heavyweight and a week and a half ago his opponent had visa issues and I was probably the only guy they could find to do it on a week and a half and he accepted the fight at heavyweight. He's a, he's a gamer, man. He, he's tough. There's a lot of guys that talk the talk, but I mean, I took the fight on a week and a half when I wasn't scheduled to have one. He was scheduled to have one and instead he went up a weight class because he's a real fighter. So did he feel like a light heavyweight? No, he felt like he's 10 pounds lighter than me, I guess. But I mean, he took me down. He was strong. He's not a weak guy. Yeah, he had to use a lot of energy, I think, to do it. But no, he, he didn't feel weak. But I mean, it's the same thing. I, I fight guys that are heavier than me often, and, and it's a give and take. You have the cardio or the speed, and they have the, 
they have the, uh, the, the power, the size, or something like that. You know, it's at the lower weight classes when a guy misses weight by half a pound and then the fight's scrapped, you know what I mean? The guys at heavyweight, sometimes guys outweigh you by 50 pounds. It's just something you're used to. Sometimes you're the faster guy, sometimes you're the bigger guy, whatever. And then lastly, how did, how did you feel as opposed to a short notice or uh, the, the full fight camp that you want for the next one? How different do you normally feel in something like that? I felt fine because I, di I didn't have any reason to celebrate after the last fight. I was really chapped, so I didn't go and eat a bunch of junk food, and I didn't go and, and drink or do anything like that, really. You know, I had a couple. That was it. So I felt like I was still in the same shape. I trained so hard all the time that a couple weeks off, if anything, somehow I probably just healed weird things. I I'm kind of all terrain, though. I'm good to go. C congrats. Just a quick one, based on what you're saying about heavyweight, you can fight guys that are going to be way heavier than you. I was wondering if this week you happen to stand next to Garn or Volkov and just see how big it can get at heavyweight, and if you've ever fought a guy at 265. So I fought Garn. Oh, yeah. You forgot that, hey? I did, yeah. That was bad. Yep. Good? Thanks, guys.